everyone today's question is insert interval the question says that we are given a set of known overlapping intervals and we have to insert a new interval into the existing intervals and we have to merge if necessary the intervals were initially sorted according to their start times so in example number 1 we have the input as follows 1,3 and 6,9 and we are given a new interval 2,5 so we have to merge this new interval 2,5 into this existing interval and we have to merge if necessary so the output would be 1,5 and 6,9 so first we will see the explanation and then we will see the code this question is very similar to a question already done on this channel before you should definitely go and watch that video the link is in the description below and the question is merge interval if you do that question this question should be really easy for you so let's see what the question says we are given some intervals so let's take the first example and also a new interval so we have to merge this new interval into the existing intervals and we have to return the output so let's picture these intervals in a graph so the first interval was 1 till 3 and the second interval was 6 to 9 and the new intervals is 2 to 5 so we have to insert the new interval starting from 2 till 5 and this is our new output 1 till 5 and 6 till 9 and now let's look at the example 2 so the intervals were 1 to 2 3 to 5 6 to 7 8 to 10 and 12 to 16 and the new interval was 4 to 8 and this is what the output will look like the output will be 1, 2 3, 10 and 12, 16 because the new interval 4 to 8 overlaps with 3 to 5 6 to 7 till 8 so let's say we have a result which is an empty list and we start adding these intervals into our result so the only thing that we have to figure out is how to merge with existing intervals the intervals which do not overlap with the new interval can be added as it is into the result so first we will append the first interval into our result which is 1, 2 next we will add the new interval into our result and while adding this new interval we also need to check if it overlaps with the existing intervals and if it overlaps with any of the existing intervals then we have to merge it when we have merged it we will add the final complete interval into our result so the second will be 3 till 10 now since both of these are done the last interval does not overlap with the new interval so we can add it as it is into the result just 12 till 16 and this is our answer so let me repeat it again first we add the interval starting before the new interval next we add the new interval and we merge it with the existing intervals if there is an overlap third we add the next interval and we merge it with the last interval if there is an overlap and at last we return the result so that was the logic now let's see how we can implement it so i have my intervals and my new interval and currently my result list is empty so the first thing that we needed to do was add the intervals which come before the new interval and to check that we need to add a condition that the first index of our new interval should be greater than the first index of our interval so in this case the first list in our interval is 1,3 and the new interval is 2,5 so the condition has to be that the first number in our new interval which is 2 should be greater than first number in our interval and in this case it is true so we will append this list into our result and now our result looks like this so i have appended the first interval our next condition was that we need to add our new interval and merge it if it overlaps so this was our first interval and our new interval is 2 till 5 and since it overlaps with the first interval we need to merge it so our first interval was 1,3 but now it becomes 1,5 and to merge the two intervals we need to update the last number in our first interval so the last number in our first interval was 3 and now it is updated to 5 and to update this value we will add another condition that the last number of our first interval now becomes the last number of our new interval so this case happens when there is a merge happening but what happens 
when there's no overlap so let's say there is a case that instead of intervals we are given an empty list and just a new interval so in this case we will add the new interval to our result and also when there is no overlap so to sum it up the new interval will be appended into our result without merging when we are given an empty interval list or when there is no overlap so let's move on to the third part so the last part was to add the remaining intervals in this case which is 6 to 9 and if there is an overlap then we need to merge it so let's see so our next interval is 6 comma 9 and our new interval was 2 comma 5 so clearly there is no overlap happening so we can just append this list as it is into our result the result will be 1 comma 5 and 6 comma 9 let's take another example so let's take the second example in which we are given the following intervals and the new interval 4 comma 8 so the first thing that we need to do is append all the intervals into our result which come before the new interval and to check that we will look at the first number in our intervals if the first number in our intervals are smaller than the first number in our new interval then we will append this list in our result so in the graph it will look something like this so the first one is 1 comma 2 and the second is 3 till 5 next we need to append our new interval so the new interval needs to be appended into a list in such a way that if there is an overlap we need to merge them so the new interval will be appended something like this starting from 4 till 8 and now this interval is merged next we need to append all the other intervals which come after the new interval and if there is an overlap we need to merge them so the first one is 6 till 7 and this is where this list will come the second one is 8 till 10 so it will start from 8 till 10 next we have 12 to 16 so the last list will start from 12 till 16 and at the end this is a result so the result will be 1 comma 2 3 comma 10 since this is 3 till 10 and the last one 12 comma 16 and this is what we have to return so i've initialized my result array which is currently empty and my index is equal to 0. so for example i've taken the intervals from example number one so for the first step i'm going to use a while loop while my i is smaller than the length of interval and the first number in my new interval is greater than the first number in my interval so in our case the first number in our new interval is 2 and the first number in my interval is 1 so while this condition is true i will append the first list into my result and now my result will look something like this 1 comma 3 is added into my result list so i will keep checking the same condition for the rest of my intervals and whenever i find an interval which is smaller than my new interval i will append it into my result next for the second condition we need to merge the new interval into our existing result and if there is an overlap happening then we need to merge the two lists so on line number 14 if not press that means if my res is empty or or the last number in my res interval is smaller than the first number in my new interval so the first number in my new interval is 2 and the last number in my res is 3 so if this condition is true so i will append the new interval into my result but in our case this doesn't hold true so we will move on to the else condition and if we have come to the else condition this means that the last number in our result list is greater than the first number in our new interval so to merge the two list the last number of my result will now be updated and my 3 now becomes 5 so the last number in my result interval is now updated to 5 so my first list is now 1 till 5 next for the last step we need to add the remaining intervals so while adding the remaining interval we need to check if there is an overlap and to check that we have added a few conditions again i am using a while loop while i is smaller than the length of intervals if the last number in my result interval 
is smaller than the first number in my interval. So in that case, I will simply append the interval in my result. But if that is not the case, then I will move to the else condition. And the last number in my result array is now updated to the last number in my interval. So in our case, the first number of our interval is 6 and the last number in our result interval is 5. And since the first condition holds true for us, I will simply append this interval in my result. And in the end, I will return my result, which is this. So that was the code. I will now submit it. And my code was accepted. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.